Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. I was thinking about the motivational speaker and the internationally known author Zig Ziglar recently. Have you heard of Zig Ziglar? If not, I highly recommend his books, audio tapes, and even checking out some of his speeches. He was a very charming, intelligent, multi-skilled person and he passed away in the year 2012. So I have three quotes I would like to share from Zig Ziglar and I'd like to discuss how they can apply to marriage. So the first quote you may be familiar with if you know him, quote, you can get everything you want in life if you will just help other people get what they want. Now that's very interesting. He was talking about this from a sales perspective, but, and it's not meant to be manipulative. It's meant to be from the heart, very genuine. If you are out to help someone else, you will benefit from the happiness and you know, just from getting, making them happy, you have received a lot in return. So it makes me think of people who say, oh, you shouldn't have to sacrifice in marriage. You shouldn't have to give up who you are. And that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about pleasing someone, helping them to be happy, helping them to achieve their goals. So that's quote number one. The second quote I'd like to share, success doesn't come overnight, it comes over time. That's very important. For those of you who are familiar with this channel, we are focusing on long-term relationships, long-term marriage. Many people will get divorced because they've had a series of extreme hardship. And some people nowadays expect things to get happier overnight. So if you're in it for the long haul, you're gonna understand the concept of time is over time. You may have weeks, months, or even some years of unhappiness in your marriage and you have decided to stay with it and that's great. You, maybe you find the techniques after years. Maybe you're married to someone who struggles with substance abuse or alcoholism and you've had an extreme hardship with that and you know, hang in there because over time you may see results, not overnight. And the last quote that I would like to share from Zig Ziglar is, your attitude, not your aptitude, will determine your altitude. Okay, so there are three words in there. Your attitude, aptitude, altitude. So your attitude is your frame of mind, your mood. Are you positive or negative? What is your attitude? Your aptitude is your competence, your skill, your talent learning to do something, your competency. And your altitude, we think of heights, we think of uh, a planes, flying, altitude. So if you've got the right attitude, if your heart is right, if your goals are right, if your, your belief system and your focus is, is good and worthy and wholesome, that does go a lot further than your aptitude. And I'm thinking of, let's just say you have communication problems in your marriage and you haven't learned the right tools or techniques or strategies on how to communicate better with your spouse. Well, that is your aptitude. Maybe you care and you wanna make it work. So that attitude is gonna be more important. So I'll just say that again. Your attitude, not your aptitude, will determine your altitude. I hope you enjoyed those quotes I shared today from Zig Ziglar. I'm hoping you have a great day and make your marriage great. 